So welcome everyone to the fourth session on industrial automation and today we are going to discuss about industrial bus system. The learning outcome is that you will, the student will be able to understand and comprehend basics of industrial bus system and uh, we are going to discuss mod bus and profit bus as per the syllabus of uh, the subject. So the first thing is that what is industrial bus? Uh, an industrial bus is a communication system that transfers data between components or devices at different levels in a manufacturing plant. They're also known as the field bus. You see, there are, uh, we've already seen in the architecture part that there are uh, level zero sensors, then there is automatic uh, control, then there is a supervisory control, production level control, and enterprise level. So different, uh, between all these different levels, we need to have a communication and uh, the special arrangement or special communication system or special communication bus, uh, which is doing this is known as industrial bus or field bus. A field bus uh, is uh, in short, a link between sensors, actuators and the uh, higher level devices like uh, controllers, uh, DCS, PLC and so on and so forth. Okay. So uh, these are some of, you can see, that uh, these are the different devices which are communicating uh, to the higher order de devices through uh, this community field bus, right? If we try to connect each and every sensor and actuator directly to that controller, then it is not feasible. A lot of wiring is required and it is cumbersome. So this field bus gives a systematic arrangement of uh, communication. Advantages of using field buses that you have bi-directional communication Simple cabling and cross wiring is possible. Easy when you want to expand or uh, retrofit. Uh, the planning cost and maintenance cost is very low over here. Uh, Self monitoring feature is there. And the resolution of process value is also uh, better over here. Uh, there are many types of field buses, but as per the syllabus, uh, we are going to discuss only two. And uh, they are mod bus and profit bus. They are standardized as per IEC 61158. Modbus was developed in 1939 by Modicon, which is now Schneider Electric, between communication. It, is, it was developed for communication between PLCs. It is most commonly used and it is open protocol. Anybody can use it. There are two types, Modbus Serial Protocol and Modbus TCP. Modbus Serial Protocol is uh, having a master save protocol where uh, generally PLC or such devices are, are uh, configured as Modbus master and the sensors and actuators are Modbus slave. So more one master that controls the Modbus data transaction with the multiple slave. Uh, one master can, uh, you can say, control as many as 247 slaves, each with unique slave address uh, you can configure. Right? Modbus serial is having uh, the master and slave request and response in this fashion. This is device address, function code, request data, or a response data, and then there is an error check. Modbus TCP is actually um, generally Ethernet based, right? So here uh, the client server the type of uh, communication is there. So Modbus TCP or Modbus TCP IP is a client server based architecture and works on or it is based on Ethernet network. And uh, uh, each uh, server and client are having the unique IP address, right? Uh, this is how it is working. The mod bus, the when there is a uh, it's a request from master, the slaves respond. So it's an application layer protocol. It is independent of data transmission medium. You can have different transmission mediums like RS232, 422, 485, 420 million pairs, and so on and so on. It is slow compared to other buses, but still it is very common and very old uh, open protocol. Next, a very popular and very commonly used field bus uh, or industrial bus is Profi bus. It is actually prof process field bus. Short form, it is Profi bus, right? So Profi bus, as you see, is also acceptable uh, with various, uh, you can say, uh, communication standards like RS485, IEC 11858, on Ethernet and so on and so forth. Uh, once again, now uh, from uh, I think 2000 onwards, it is open field supplier independent uh, network standard. Uh, it, it 
communicates based on master slave uh, generally plcs are master and sensors actuators are slaves it is bidirectional control and uh, each device has a address which is specified by a rotary switch or plc uh, total 127 devices can be connected uh, to one master through this uh, configuration uh, there are uh, ways and means by which uh, communication takes place between masters that is passing the token. So between two, uh, that is a token is passed and whoever, whichever master is ready, it takes the token and then it is ready to, for the communication. So for communication between masters, passing the token method is used and polling method is used for communication between the master and slave. So whichever master is uh, ready uh, and uh, it, which has passed the token and has shown that readiness it sends the request and then slave responds with the data uh, the features of profibus they are up to uh, 24 kilometers with repeaters fiber optic uh, uh, the, this much distance they can cover speed varies from 9.6 kbps to 12 mbps shorter distance can have higher uh, data transfer speed uh, there are two types popularly Profibus DP and uh, Profibus DA. Profibus DP is called decentralized. So, here all the uh, IO module which was connected, which is generally connected near PLC, is uh, taken to the field and all the sensors are connected to IO module. And a single RS485 uh, link is there from field bus to uh, the uh, central uh, PLC. And that's why the devices or peripherals are decentralized. That's why it is called decentralized peripherals, right? So IO module is in the field near sensors, and a single RS485 cable is used to connect the IO or PS, right? Profibus PA is uh, once again here IO module is removed. It is nothing but PA stands for process automation. Sensors are directly connected to Profibus PA, and there is no IO module uh, required, obviously. Uh, if your PLC is older, then you can have a, a segment coupler which converts Profibus PA to Profibus DP so that you can uh, have a DP uh, you can say port in older PLC and you can work in a compatible manner right so that is how the Profibus PA is the latest version of Profibus right so that's all about the Modbus and Profibus uh, we are going to continue about the role of computers in uh, the automation in our subsequent Thank you for uh, uh, watching this video. I hope it will be useful to you.